back again. Thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Josh. We're gonna do a trailer reaction today to Sandman. So this is the Netflix series that's based off of the uh, is it Neil can't remember his name. Uh, the author of the graphic novel comic series uh, The Sandman, which has been in development for a while now, but I definitely think uh, I've heard some good things. I remember for a while, I think it was uh, Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitz that was in talks to direct and star and like a bunch of things because I think he was a big, big fan of the, the actual uh, series. So uh, I haven't seen anything. I haven't really even heard that much about this. Uh, my brother-in-law, Pat, was telling us about it that he's a big fan and he said uh, that it's coming out on Netflix. So I seen a trailer drop, figured we'd watch it together and just see how it goes because as it goes with comic book stuff recently, I'm a huge comic book fan and I think they have some of the best lore and storytelling that, that's definitely going on and has gone on more recently. Uh, but also I'm aware that a lot of the things that have come out more recently, in my opinion, just haven't been as good uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, some stories, some dialogue, all the other kind of stuff, just the content in general. There's just a lot of it coming out too. So this is no exception. This is something different, but it's a Netflix one. I don't know that Netflix has a lot of Excuse me. I don't know if Netflix has a lot of rights to many uh, comic book adaptations. I mean, they had like the the Marvel ones of like the Daredevil, um, Punisher, stuff like that that they were doing their series for before Fox. Was it Fox sold it to whoever? Before Disney got a hold of everything at that point, and uh, no, no longer in Netflix. So let's see what they're trying to do. Maybe they're going to invest some uh, some good coin into this and get a good. Good story, good movie. Movie or show? Not sure, let's find out. Go. I don't know who that actor is. Your waking world is shaped by dreams. No gaming. That's what I was going for. No gaming. The nightmares that I create and which I must control. He's out there looking for me. I don't know much Is about him, man. Can you imagine the damage he could do? I need your help. If dreams disappear, then so will humanity. I could do without dreams for a while. Looks I good. Decent on sleep in ages. I'm not gonna stop. Until I've reshaped I know that guy. Tell us what power of dreams. Is that Brienne of Tarth? With wings? Oh, drag? About giving it's dreams, yeah. But I have a job to do when I do it. Things have changed. I'm familiar as well. Your eyes will tell me everything. Every thought. Every feeling. Music's good. Do not walk amongst the living, killing mortals for pleasure. Oh, you don't think dreams can die? Let's find out. Nightmares do not belong in the waking world. Oh, it turns out I fit right in. Dreams don't die. Netflix coming in a little hot there okay okay is that uh is that Lloyd Hol Holbrook is that his name the guy that was in originally the, like Logan and then was in the new newer newer Predator movie the Predator uh, I think he's the bad guy I'm not sure who the bad guy is in this and I have heard bits and pieces about the story of Sandman I'm just not very fluid with uh, the overarching characters or really any of the characters other than the Sandman himself and honestly I don't even know that much about him so for me, that was pretty out of left field because I don't know what it is, but it looked really cool. The graphics looked really good. Uh, the dreamscape or them in the dream realm, however they're going to do that, looked very solid. The sound design was good. Uh, granted, it's a trailer. 
I've seen a lot of really good trailers and then they turned out to be some pretty shitty movies. So, um, based off of that though, I they look like they're doing pretty good. So I definitely think I'll check that one out. I, I do think it's a movie. I believe it's a movie. So uh, it's definitely worth a couple hours, see what's like on that one. So I'm sure we'll have a review for that one when it pops up. But uh, as far as the trailer goes, I think that was good. I don't think I'm gonna watch any more trailers because I don't wanna be, have anything spoiled for me, even though I don't really know the characters or what's happening. But I have this tendency to have certain things flash back in my head while I'm going through a movie and it's check, just like a checklist of, oh, I remember that from the trailer, I remember that from the trailer. And it's like, oh, I remember this one scene from the trailer I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's coming up. So hopefully that one had so much cool stuff in it and so much weird stuff that I'm sure I won't remember half of it. So I think that one's safe, but I might stay away from more of them after that. And I think it's coming out in August. Yeah, it's actually coming out next week. So it shouldn't be too bad. We should have a couple more reviews coming up. I think that one's coming out. And then uh, the new Predator movie, Prey, is coming out on Hulu, I believe. So uh, there should be some stuff. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you think that one looked interesting or if it looked good. I thought it looked really good. So hopefully it will be. Peace out.